Uh, thank you for joining me today, my friends. You like that static noise in the background? Yeah? I bet you're digging on that. Hang on, let's hit play. Let's turn this down just a little bit more. Just right, right there. Yeah, maybe, maybe right there, actually. Please wait. We are, we are loading. Please wait. Oh, we got to, we got to wait. Yeah, hang on. Perfect! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's not going to work. Oh, it hurts my eyes. Everything's... I'm a 3D man in a 2D world. This is terrible. I have to put him back on. Aha! Perfection. Perfect. Go, go there. 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 Perfect. Yep. I'm feeling it. Oh, man. Look at this. If you have a pair of these, put them on. This opening, this intro sequence, it's, oh, it's perfect. Truly, truly outstanding. I can't get my water bottle up to my mouth because it's so three-dimensional, but... Oh, man. Oh, man. Even I'm in 3D. Look at me over here. Whoops. See that? See that guy over there? So 3D. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is stupid. It came with the game. It came with the game. I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't. I guess I see a difference. I don't know how 3D effects are done with things like this. I mean, I was pretty convinced it was accomplished. Okay. That sounds completely unacceptable. Oh, look at these amazing 3D animations. Again, I'm not certain how this is accomplished. Is it everything? Does everything? That's not right. It's certain things. And I was pretty convinced that you achieved the 3D effect by having like a blue and red layer separate from the regular image. So the things raised off of that layer when you uh, isolated the colors, something like that. But this, I don't see the necessary layers, so I don't know how it's achieved. Maybe it's all a trick of the mind. I'm obviously insane. I'm not putting those on again. It, it also came with this. I, I didn't get this game new, obviously. I ordered it on eBay, and it was complete in box. This is in it. I don't know... I don't know what this is, but uh, you can see, like, it's, it's monster motions. The motions that the monsters make are on here. I guess that... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's what we're looking for right there. Sorry, I'm done. I'm done for... Is that, is that dog's name Whiskey? You got this nice little manual, and check it out. Nothing, nothing great about a manual, right? Manuals are just cool. They're great for reading on the way home after you buy the game. Which I guess doesn't happen anymore with digital downloads and such. Poor, poor child. No pupper to love. But, see, here's the great thing. Some tips. We've got some tips up here. Including hints for various levels, so no need to make phone calls. You don't have to call people with this game. You're just like, mm, yes, I see, beware of shadows, uh-huh, uh-huh. Practice somersaulting, I see. Well, I guess I should get started, shouldn't I? What's a somersault? That's the one where you roll forward, or is that the flip? 
the kingdom. Some pretty tenacious monsters sometimes grab hold of Andy. Okay. Yeah, let's play this game, guys. What is going on, Andy? No. What? Did he say rations? I think he meant rations. Or have I been saying rations wrong my entire life? I'm pretty sure he meant rations. Alright, this is this is getting intense. So this is all taking place in his imagination, right? I mean, obviously. By the way, I don't know if those black borders around that box are going to go away once we're in-game. I think they do. If not, I'm going to spend a second, just a second, just a fraction of a moment adjusting my capture frame. Oh, look at that shadow monster. He's afraid of the dark. I got you. I'm afraid of the dark, too. This game will probably give me nightmares. <laughs> Hopefully not, but who knows? I mean, I'm, I've got a fairly susceptible brain up here. Golly, this is a seven and a half minute intro and we're not done yet. Wow. Wow. Did I, did I play our opening? I feel like I did. Man. So this is Heart of Darkness. It was released in July... 1998. And, uh, from what I gather, it's a fairly uncommon game. I saw a lot of people complaining about not being able to acquire it on various YouTube videos. Alright, here we go. Does the analog stick work? It does not. Okay. Okay, I just hit X and got off, I guess. Alright, X jumps. Alright, I use my gun with circle. Gotcha. Or triangle. Nice. Oh, running is square, I think. Okay. Yes! First 30 seconds of gameplay. Alright, hit X to jump. Jump over the chasm. And fall off the stage. <laughs> okay, hold up. Wait, where do I need to go? Oh, hang on, do I have to... I see. I see. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm gathering how some of this works now. Crap! What am I supposed to do here? Okay, hang on, can I... Alright, zap this. Can I just walk across here? Okay, this is not a dangerous chasm, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Alright, I just need to not be running when I enter this frame, I gotcha. Okay. Oh, hello, jumping shadow creature. Okay, you just slowly go back and forth, gotcha. Do I, do I die? Do I take damage, or is this like a repetitive task? Do I need to go this way? No. Okay, back off, bruh. Okay, so I need to go up here, maybe? It's XX, right? XX? XXX, maybe. Can I go... Is this a pseudo 3D world? No. Okay. Maybe I... I see. I see, I need to destroy the scenery. Gotcha. Oh, no! <laughs> no, let go, let go, let go, let go. Okay, okay. So it's... It's somersault over the first one. Ah, crap, crap. Do 
Do I need to somersault twice or do I need to? Okay, so not there. All right, gotcha. Woo, this is going to be. Oh. Okay, I need to be running as soon as I spawn. Gotcha. Uh, I need to somersault twice, I think, maybe? We're doing. I got it. I got it. I, I know what to do. Okay. I guess this is one way. Oh, crap. All right. All right. I don't know what to do once I get over here, though. How? How exactly? Screw this. Guidebook time. Level one hint. In many places, Andy can interact with the dangerous surroundings. Even the shadows aren't safe. If you seem stuck in an area, try shooting the rocks to get them to move. First time you may encounter trouble is when many shadows swarm Andy from both sides of the screen. Do the best you can to get towards the center of the screen and concentrate on the enemies to the left. They are more aggressive. Okay. Okay, so it is literally just kill everything. Gotcha. I guess that's why I start out with a gun, right? What exactly does it mean the enemies on the left are more aggressive? They seem to have very similar... Screw you, dude. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. 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 Okay, I am seeing a bit more aggression from the left side. Oh, I can I can just crouch and fire. Oh my god. Oh crap. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Please tell me I start back on that exact frame. Whoops. I tried to jump. Oh. I can't. I can't get the... Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I somersaulted too low that time? Okay, okay. You can escape from some enemies by jumping. Okay. Somersaulted too low again. Whoops. I went back too far. Crap. What if I'm not moving? Can they not knock me down if I'm not moving at all? Nope. That one definitely knocked me down. Gosh darn it, Andy, you are sucking. Okay, I got this. Can I not... Can, does he not jump as high when he jumps long? I guess not. I guess if you're moving forward, you don't jump high. You just jump. Froggin' mother truckers? Yes! Okay, 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 okay. I, I see what I did wrong there. I, I see what I did wrong there, really. I understand. I understand entirely. Can you tell me that's the Heart of Darkness case? Probably not, right? Oh, uh, crap. Really? I have to start over here? Oh, no. I'm so bad at this part. Which, now I know that I have to...
Yeah, all right. Hang on. Before we go any further, okay, there's nothing around the set. Gotcha. Okay. Easy. Easy. Hey kid, you all right? Why can't we go in there? Ugh. Okay, okay. No, this is fine, really. No, thank you. He ate me. He just ate me. Do I get to start over in that little hole that I couldn't get through, maybe? Nope. Why did I try to zap him? I tried, I tried so hard to zap him. No, I got it. I really, I do not need that hint right now. Yeah, take that, ugly shadow slime monsters. Oh! Oh, okay, he'll just snatch me up and eat me. Okay. How do I get rid of him? Oh, do I have to not kill that one in the back so that he can make him jump up? Whew, that was scary. Okay. Crap. Okay, that's why I can come over here and double back. I thought I'd just run off screen and come back because they didn't respawn yet, but they did respawn, in fact. They were just waiting. What clever little girls! I do not like these shadows at all. Put this on my resume. Does not like shadows. Uh-huh. Die, shadow monsters. Okay. Next frame. Why can't I jump? Why can I not jump? Yes! Crap. Ooh, I almost done did it. All right, can I bet this stuff maybe? Oh crap! Oh crap! Ola! Oh no! I want that gun, please. No, please. I should like gun. Thank you. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh gods! Oh, I see. Now I have to drop down and go into the cave. You're having a hard time getting past the shadow dogs that come trotting at you from the side of the screen. Try double jumping. Okay. I don't... I have no idea what to do here. Can I just run past it, maybe? Really? 
I just had to crawl past it. Come on, come on, run! Oh, they don't like light. Oh, I see. I see. Which way to go? Who do we ask for help when we don't know which way to go? The map. We don't have a map, though. <laughs> Just jump right off, Andy. It's okay. No one's going to miss you. Not while I'm around. Wait, can I just jump up right there? Do I not even have to come over here? Well, that's decidedly stupid, okay. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. Easy peasy. How exactly was I supposed to know that that would happen? I did, it, that was caused by me jumping, right? That wasn't like pure coincidence that it happened after I jumped twice. That better not turn me over at the bottom. Okay, good. All right, all right, I'm feeling it. I, I, I can dig on this all day. Little, little action adventure type game. Oh. Glad I moved. I assume that that won't kill you. Kind of like the uh, opening sequence. Gotcha. Kind of like the uh, in the opening, the ship won't kill you when you jump down, the ship blows up. Kind of like that. Uh oh. Where'd they go? Okay, that, 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 I can't actually see anything. Okay, maybe not. Yes, I see. Goody. My brightness was turned way down, by the way. That definitely changed the game. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I can play this for an hour straight. Sure. Especially with 3D. Dobby? Dobby, is that you? Is it my dog? It's my dog, isn't it? I have no idea what he said. I was too distracted with the 3D. Get him. Kill him. Man, the late 90s, am I right? Whoa! The world is full of light, and I am darkness itself. Okay, what's this thing over here doing? Is it going to kill me? Okay, I guess I need to grab that vine right there. Or is that vine going to kill me? 
Oh. Alright, how about we just go for a swim then, huh? How about that, Andy? I'm good at this, in case you couldn't tell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. I wonder if this is one of those games where it's like designed to be speedrunned. Speedrun. Speedrunned. Speedrun. Like, you could tech. I somersaulted when I didn't need to. Like, I feel like if you jump just right, you can grab hold of that vine and swing across. And, like, Donkey Kong Country is intended to be run in one swift motion. Once you know the pattern, you can just kind of diddly right across it. I wonder if this is like that. Probably not, right? That's why there's no limit to how many lives you have, because you're going to do this a lot. You know what, you know what Andy kind of reminds me of? He just grabs that. He just grabs that. There's no need to, uh... He kind of reminds me of... Oh man, I don't remember what it is now. It's an educational game. It's an educational game. Uh, I almost want to call it Pathfinder, but that's not it. Pathfinders. But that's that's not it. Um. Okay. One block needed. Press start button to save. Press any other button to cancel. I hope I hope I have the one block it needs. Great. Continue. Yes, please eat me. Please do, I deserve it. I've earned that death. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, you're double kidding? Oh, no. I like how the beginning of the game lulls you into this false sense of security, like... Like, you... You fall off at the beginning, and it starts you out on that frame, and then you fall off in the next frame, and it starts you out in that frame. Then you fall off in the next frame, and it starts you out in that frame. And from that point on, any time you die, you have to basically start the entire section over. Get it? Alright, so we have to go up now. Crap. Crap! That's stupid. I should have jumped immediately, because I made it. The, the other rope was there. I could have grabbed it. And I didn't. I don't like that the uh, jump and grab button is the jump button. Like, X to jump, X to grab. So that if you think, oh, I have to hit X again to grab the vine, what you wind up doing is hitting X again and jumping again because your character automatically grabs swinging vines, but does not grab background terrain. Which I guess is good, because you need to be able to jump to dodge monsters. Alright, where's my firefly? I thought I could step on its head. Apparently not. Whoopsie! This is, uh, this is quite the treat right here. Oop, oop, oop. 
think I'd get better at this. It it couldn't catch the firefly because it was so interested in me, and I was under it. Why? Why did he not jump? Why? Why did he not jump half the time? Who is starting to make me turn my mic back up? Turn my desktop audio back down. There we go. Double jump. Is this act two? Oh. To answer my previous question. This game is definitely not intended to be run as a uh, speed run, as you can tell from the... See, I did it. I hit X again, as if I were going to grab the vine, but the character who already grabbed the vine, so instead he just let go. He just let go, and he died. Oh, I thought, I thought for sure that I got that extra jump off. Some parts of it feel very speed runny, like transitioning from this frame to that, very fluid, but that part is not. Neither is that part. Actually, that part might be. I obviously uh, need, need my need 3D enabled. I can't, I can't enable 3D. It doesn't have, um, legs? That would... No, thank you. I don't like the shadow snake things in the lake, in the water. Like, they spook me out, the snake things that are just swooshing through. Alright, not this one. Oh, it is this one. Okay, so not... Okay, I don't, fortunately, I don't think that one can kill you. Not that, I don't think you can save and like reload from this area. There's no point, it saves the last checkpoint, I think, but uh, I hope this is a checkpoint, because this seems very experimental. I don't see anything I can do here. Oh, this water is dangerous still, but the water on the other side... Clearly the water on this side isn't dangerous. I need to crouch, I think. I think I need to crouch, and I didn't do it. Will I drown if I crouch, though? Or do I need to go? Maybe I need... Crap! Crap! I tried doing the left and right thing. It doesn't work. It doesn't work when you're airborne and your feet can't touch the ground too left and right on. Oh crap. Water wasn't deep enough there apparently. No. No. No, no, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Maybe there's a tip for this section. Let's find out. Level 2 hints. When you enter a darkened area, you must somehow light the way. Search the... Oh. That's it? You have to light the way if the area is dark? Okay, great. I've not encountered a darkened area yet. Maybe this isn't level 2, though. Crap, I didn't make it far enough. You have to make it over to the other side. Hang on, can I... No, I can't double jump, long jump my way over. 
crap. Well, this sucks. Not one at all. I don't like it because there's obviously no pattern because I've made it to that deep water before and I was okay. And that time I just couldn't get down. I just couldn't get down. Okay. Where's my fireball ability? I want my fireball ability. All right. All right. Uh, I was watching the wrong one. D-pad hurts thumb. Maybe if I had my my analog stick available. No controller. Yeah, I thought so. Crap. Alright. I need to duck here. I need to duck here. Then I need to duck here. Crap. Oh, come on. Yeah. Good work, Andy. Okay. I don't like that Venus flytrap looking thing over there. Oh, it's light. It's light. Oh, yes. You all right, Andy? Oh, okay. We can't jump up here. We can jump up here. We can go all the way off screen, apparently. I feel like that was worth a try. So I don't have a health bar. I just have a... It's an instant kill system, I think. Hang on. I think I see what's happening here. My bad. Yeah, I think I think we have to uh, pull the snake down. And then run away. And then go back up. Gotcha. Now, can I go up here? No, okay. No, I can't go up here. The 3D tells me. Oh crap! Okay, apparently I don't need to go that way yet because I don't have a way of lighting that. Okay, eventually a thing will come out that it will try to eat, that will distract it long enough for me to grab whatever that is. Oh, it still eats me, okay. They'll float up into the next cavern. 
I double back, grab the snake, go up. Okay, okay, I see the pattern now. Eat that. Eat it, please. Just in case, I feel like... Okay, there are no more. Gotcha. Okay, great. Now I come back over here. Come back. Alright, Andy. Pull that evil snake thing down. I think that might kill it. I, it doesn't seem to do anything afterwards, so maybe that dies. I'm not really willing to learn at this point what happens there. This looks brighter from the outside, maybe? Steve, wait, loading. Oh, do I have to do this all again for real? Okay, fine, that's fine, that's fine. Great, okay. Can't jump up and grab that, that's fine. We just... Yep, climb up here. Yes. Pull this guy down. Do you reactivate by any chance? No, okay. So you can't block yourself from opening the next passage. So technically, if you come up, you don't have to die here. You're able to die a lot so that you can learn the game, and so they can show off some of their pretty death animations over and over, but you don't have to die. Oh, he just jumped right off. Way to go, Andy. Good work, Andy boy. Andy, 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 Andy. Alright, alright. Let's run back over here. Jump right into the serpent's mouth. I don't know how long this game is. This is level 2, right? Uh, I see level 1, level 2, and level 3 hints. That cannot possibly be all there is to this game. Like, what are the odds that that's all there is to this game? There we go. Ooh, it almost ate me. Alright, come back over here. Pull this cat down, jump up here. I feel like it's probably just they give you hints for the first three levels and they're like, you're on your own, Andy boy. Own, oh, you're on your own, Andy boy. It has to be more than three levels, because there are like two different power-ups that Andy can get aside from his gun. Not to mention I want my gun back at some point. The fact that Andy insists on jumping far and not high can really screw a man. I only need to make one trip that way. I keep making two trips. I only need to make this one. I almost did it. You can see there's already fireflies out. That's what I need to do next time. Alright, let's double back. Climb, Andy Warhol! Climb! I don't know why, because that's the name I want to give him, okay? Okay. Ooh. 
Yeah, Charles and Avalanche. Good plan, kiddo. Is, that a, is this a death sequence? Oh, oh, it's time. Oh, yes. Look at him slide. Oh, boy. Round and round we go where it stops. Nobody knows. This is a pretty nifty little game. It's kind of like it's kind of like an interactive movie. Like the opposite of what visual novels are. This is like a game that also functions as a movie. Visual novels are like a book that also functions as a book. Ah, I see. Okay. Go Andy Warhol, go. Go, Andy Warhol, go. Don't stop to do anything else. Okay, it literally is don't stop to do anything else and you're okay. Can I climb this tree, maybe? I, I never know what to expect from this game. Not that tree, but this one. See what I mean? So the shadow monsters and the regular monsters aren't friends, apparently? Maybe that thing's not a monster. No, it is. It's one of the... No, it's not. Okay. Really, Andy? First of all, there's no way you maintained your balance like that for that for that long. Did he say surprise? That's how I say surprise too. Is that what he said? Mario, Mario. <laughs> Amigo, amigo, no go, no go. I can't tell if this thing's stupid or not. Oh, incredibly stupid or not. Like it answered, what's your name? Amigo. Amigo what? Amigo, amigo. That, that sounds like it gave its full name, which is Mario, Mario. I mean, amigo, amigo. Oh no. We didn't watch that one properly, so we'll have to go back. Can I experience just the cinematics? I feel like I saw a movies option in the options menu. If that's the case, that... Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna lower ourselves just a little bit, and then we're gonna find out... Level 3 hints. Seeds can't grow while floating in water. So you have to somehow move them to land. They are to be useful. Shadow piranha fish are dangerous and can't be killed. The answer to a puzzle isn't always on the same screen. I needed that answer on level two. Thank you very much. Only the best swimmer can find a way to unblock the water. Once you figure out what to do, swim back fast. It won't take long before your lunch. These are very useful and can be moved and used more than once. Gotcha. Okay. Don't swim up. Yo comprendo. Alright, is this the end? Like, I can't go back any further or anything like that? Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to know. I just, I feel like I might miss something if I don't explore fully, so I wanted to know. Is this a seed? What exactly is this? He has at least two reactions to that, neither of which appears to be positive, so that's definitely a thing. Does Shadow Piranha live down here? Does holding square make me swim faster? No. 
Then why am I holding it? You ever notice how characters seldom swim upside down? I guess it would give you vertigo, right? It, it'd mess you up real bad if you started swimming upside down, maybe. I hope there was nothing else back there. Oh. Okay. This is one of those you have to mess around now that you've got it. This is a seed, I guess? Oh, okay, hang on. Do I need to kick it back, maybe? No. Gotcha. I understand now. Everything's making sense so far. The Shadow Piranha don't seem to be much of a threat as of yet. May I assume that they're going to be a threat right here? Probably right. Oh, this thing's definitely scary. Didn't do anything. Maybe if I swim straight down into it, it will, though, and that would suck. Oh, these things look like they'll hurt, though. Go, Andy, go! I don't even know who Andy Warhol is. Let's be real. Is he music or actor or public figure? What is he? Uh. Oh no, they suck! I mean, they, they suck. Okay. Oh no. This must be where I unblock the water and then I have to run for my life. No, 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 no. You know what? That was a blessing in disguise. Because, uh, you know what that means? We're gonna save right here. I'm gonna play our outro. No, no, not user abort. I'm gonna save. I need, I need to save. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna save right here. I'm gonna play our outro. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching my video guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. If you didn't, leave a comment anyway. Let me know what I can improve on, and be certain to click my icon in the upper right to subscribe for more upcoming content. I upload multiple Let's Play videos daily. In fact, there's another one right there in the bottom left corner. For more on this series, be sure to check out the playlist in the bottom right corner. Have a great day!